In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today's, today's Mass is offered for Daniel Di Sabato and John Mario. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statutes and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has goods so close to it as the Lord and our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which you own eyes have seen nor let them sleep from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost his truths like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter on, or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the last of the commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least last in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Of course, because D Jesus disobeyed all the 613 laws in the Jewish tradition, 
they called him that he came to abolish the law and prophets. And we know that it's not true. He came to put this law heart. He came to put to this law love. Because we know that all of them, of course, they were for goodness to the faithful people, to grow in the faith to only begot, the only begotten God. But we know also that it wasn't love there in this law. Since the beginning Jesus came, he said, okay, everything is important. We need commandments. We need the, we need the law. But the first law in our life is love and our heart. So during this time of Lent, when we are trying to fulfill the commandments or law or our just almsgiving, prayers, giving up, whatever, just remember that the most important part of our faith and our life is always love, is always our heart. But heart, which is cleansed by Jesus and by God's love. And now let us pray in all our intentions, special way we pray for Daniel Di Zabato and John Mayer, and we pray in all our intentions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are the Lord with our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man's hands. You become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are the Lord, Lord of God creation, for, to, for, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of man's hands. You become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people, along with the sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon the like that you fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be proud for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and never. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Lord.
Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Bye.